Happy Thursday night to you, and welcome to Runs, Hits, Aaron, the Pittsburgh Diamonds pregame show, where we talk with manager Aaron Miles. And tonight here in uh, Winter Chevrolet Stadium, the Diamonds will be playing the Martinez Clippers and another historical first, the first time the Clippers have come to Pittsburgh in their expansion uh, team season. And uh, they just completed two games against the Clippers in Martinez. Uh, last night was a difficult loss. Tuesday was an exciting victory, and they were the same score and almost the same kind of game. <laughs> very, very similar games. Obviously, uh, wasn't there the first one, but uh, yeah, two, uh, two times the uh, Martinez Clippers come back. Uh, the second, you know, the second game of that, you know, they ended up uh, you know, scoring the two runs to win the game, like we did the night before. But um, you know, we beat ourselves last night. I think in the end, uh, of course, Jordan Brink didn't beat himself. Uh, he pitched a heck of a game, uh, and they squared some balls up in the seventh inning, and we were trying to get one more inning out of them and. You know, ultimately it didn't work, but uh, you know we went to Ackerman, and you know he got out of that uh, the end of the the seventh, and in the eighth, you know he went out and uh, you know walked two, and that hurt us, and you know that'll hurt you in this league when you walk guys late in the game, and you know Ridge has done a great great job for us so far, but uh, you know we uh, we couldn't come out with it uh, last night, and we got two more games with them, so hopefully we can take these two. So. Uh what is the condition of the bullpen, I guess, specifically starting with Danny Moskovitz? Is he better? I mean, he's been out for a couple days because of some strain. Moskovitz is on the DL. He's had some tricep tenderness, and, you know, we think it's, you know, a, a small, slight strain, and it's day-to-day, -day basically. But we put him on the DL because he hasn't been on the raw. He hasn't been in a game since last Wednesday, so technically he could come off any day we wanted to retroactive. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's day to day, so we're kind of letting it play out. I don't want him to come back too early. There's still a lot of season left, and, you know, we want him uh, to be a lockdown guy in the pen, and we definitely don't want him going back out there before he's ready and hurting himself and being out even longer. But you uh, added a new pitcher to your roster, <clears throat> excuse me, last night, and can you tell us something about it? Sean Johnson, um, you know, he's pitched a little earlier in the year in the Frontier League. Um, he ended up being let go. Uh, he's just a, you know, uh, from what I understand to be a quality arm and somebody we need to give a shot to because, you know, the bullpen's been tough and, you know, we're trying to find the right mix and this kid's going to get a shot and, you know, hopefully you'll see him pitch tonight. I'm, I've been waiting to see him pitch. All I've seen is uh, some YouTube videos and just talk to his former manager about him. So uh, tonight, Corey McDonald on the mound and last time Corey pitched, uh, it was not very much. It was not a typical Tory, Corey McDonald experience. Uh, he got a, the ball hand, you know, pounded all over the uh, ballpark. Um, was, is there something that was special about that night or changes that have been made? Well, you know, the San Rafael Pacifics are, um, I, I think they're the best hitting team in the league. I mean, obviously Vallejo's strong, but those are the two top hitting clubs. And San Rafael was very hot at the time and, and swinging good bats. and. You know, we're hoping that that's all that was. Uh, you know, the velo, the velocity numbers on McDonald lately have been, you know, right around where he's been in his career. So we're not necessarily concerned if it's a velocity thing. Uh, he just kept the ball up and in the middle of the plate and was facing a team that uh, was red hot. So, uh, you know, unless he continues to have outings like that, we're going to just look at that as some fluke thing that happened. Um, and hopefully he turns back to the Corey McDonald that we know here with the guy with the 3-4 ERA last year, one of the best pitchers in the league. So let's hope that happens tonight. The, uh, speaking of pitching, is there a Travis Blackley update? Do you have any idea? Is he when he might be? Well, I don't have any update, but he's supposed to be here by the end of the week, and um, I do not know if he'll be ready to pitch. You know, obviously there's some jet lag that goes on with coming from Australia, uh, but we're going to get him into the rotation as quickly as he can. Uh, and he can't come too soon because uh, he's a heck of a pitcher, and we need uh, that another that another quality start within those guys. And uh, we're going to feel pretty good about ourselves going forward with him in the, in the rotation. Well, after lots of conversation and discussion, and and people having differing uh, viewpoints, I guess a final vote has been taken about the postseason situation for the Pacific Association, and it will remain as it was supposed as it was originally, which is a playoff among the four teams, top four teams at the end of the year, one versus four, two versus three, and then the two winners play the next day for the championship. Um, I know we've talked about this. You were all that thrilled about it apparently have you changed your mind or what do you think well i mean i guess you know if you're the fourth place team and you've got you know your 15 games under 500 um which i don't think will happen if martinez starts to win a lot and you know of course we're number five right now so 
Um, you know, I don't feel too good about that, but uh, we're not too far out of first either. But, um, you know, I think when you get down to the fourth place team, you know, who could have a losing record, uh, can knock off the number one team who might, you know, have a 20 games over 500. Um, and there's no other advantage than playing at your home. I think that's terrible. Um, that's just not right. And, you know, is the fourth best team going to feel like a champion uh, when they have a losing record on the whole season? Uh, they win two game, two ball games at the end of the year, and they're crowned the champions when, you know, they're nine or ten games under 500. I just don't think that feels like a champion. Um, it would feel a lot different if they had to run the gauntlet, if they had to play number three um, for a game and then play the number two seeded team for maybe a three game series and then play the number one team for a three game series. Obviously that's a lot of extra baseball. Uh, we can't really do that, but at least, you know, uh, if they had to run it, you know, give the team that wins the whole thing an automatic buy to the championship series. I'm fine with that, but uh, we'll see. I know there's a lot of other factors in, in the baseball that go into it, and it has to do with, you know, a lot of it has to do with the money and, and what uh, everybody's willing to do, pay for their ballpark or whatever. Uh, if it's the same as it was in the beginning, I really don't like it, but we'll deal with it, and hopefully we'll be the team that benefits. Well, I think you are tied for fourth right now, so going to the play tonight. So the Diamonds are, are in the playoffs, and they've got a, a season a series big, uh, edge on Napa, so they would be, the, they would be in there. <laughs> be in there. All right, we're a playoff team right now. That's great. Uh, okay, uh, I like our chances in because we got great starting pitching. We can beat anybody in a given night, but... Uh, you know, let's 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 play the season out, see how it is, and uh, I feel good about our chances going forward. Certain things are starting to come together. We've still got some question marks, but uh, these guys are, are ready to play, and you know we we playing pretty good lately. Uh, let's let's win tonight so we can continue to say that. That is game number one for the rest of the season tonight. The Martinez Slippers, thank you, Coach, and the Diamonds will be playing uh, Mart Martinez, and we will be back for the start of tonight's game right after.